This video is on binomial distribution and this is the topic from probability distribution. See, in A throws of a die, 5 or 6 is considered A success. Find the mean number of success and the standard deviation. So, we have to find out the mean and the standard deviation. So, see in this question, in 8 throws of a die, 5 or 6 is considered a success. So, in a die total, how many, so, uh, how many numbers will be there? So, in the solution, on the die, there will be 6 numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Getting 5 on the die the chances of getting 5 on the die will be 1 by 6 and getting the chance of uh, getting 6 on the die is 1 by 6 and total 5 so now getting 5 or 6 on the die will be 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 so this is how we have to solve solution is p means the probability of success the probability here what is success here? Success is getting 5 or 6 on the die. The probability of getting 5 or 6. The probability of getting 5 or 6 in a die. So, getting 5 it means, so P is equal to getting 5 on the die is 1 by 6 and getting 6 on the die is 1 by 6 therefore p will be 2 by 6 and so p value is equal to 1 by 3 so if i cancel this in two table p value is equal to 1 by 3 and you know that the total probability is always equal to unity that is p plus q is always equal to unity and see what is the p value that is 1 by 3 plus q is equal to 1 so this is 3 so q is equal to this is 1 minus 1 by 3 q is equal to if i take 3 as lcm this is 3 minus 1 q value is equal to 2 by 3 see from this equation so which equation so here p is equal to 1 by 3 and this is q is equal to 2 by 3 so from the question see here in 8 throws so it is very clear that n is given as 8 so n is given as n value is given as 8 from the question and now what we have to find out we have to find out the mean and as well as standard deviation so what is the formula for mean so mean is nothing but n into p so here what is our p value p is equal to 1 by 3 q is equal to this is 2 by 3 and n is equal to 8 so clear p is equal to 1 by 3 q is equal to 2 by 3 and n is equal to 8 and now i'm going to calculate the mean of this binomial distribution so mean formula is nothing but n mean mu is equal to n into p so mean is equal to what is n this is 8 into this is 1 by 3 the mean is equal to 8 by 3 so therefore we got the mean value as so this value is nothing but mean that is 8 divided by 3 and see the next one which we have to calculate the variance so you know that variance is equal to npq variance is equal to variance formula is n into p into q so this value is nothing but this is a sigma square n into p what is n here 8 into p is nothing but 1 by 3 q is nothing but 2 by 3 and see this value is nothing but 8 to the this is 16 by 9. So, this is variance. And now, they need standard deviation. Standard deviation is nothing but root over variance. Standard deviation is equal to. Standard deviation is nothing but sigma. Sigma is equal to root over. This value is 16 by 9. So, sigma is equal to. This is 4 by 3. The value of the standard deviation is nothing but 4 by 3. So, this is the value of mean. So, this is variance and this is the standard deviation. So, this is how we have to solve after getting P, Q and N values. See here in the question it is very clear that in 8 throws of a die, 5 or 6 is considered a success. The success is getting 5 or 6 on a die. Not in a die. It's on a die. 
So getting 5 on a die is 1 by 6 and getting 6 on a die is 1 by 6 and therefore p is equal to 2 by 6, p value is equal to 1 by 3 and after getting p we can calculate uh, q value by putting this in uh, by putting p value in this equation and from the question it is very clear that n is equal to 8 after getting p q and n so we have to calculate uh, the value of mean that is mean is equal to n into p that is 8 by 3 the variance here is a 16 by 9 and standard deviation is equal to 4 by 3 this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and there are many more videos which are ready to be uploaded please follow those and pass it on to your friends and support this channel thank you so much